Hey everyone, happy new year. I hope everybody had a fantastic new year's and that you are staying warm in this freezing cold weather. So as I've talked about before, once a year I get an MRI um, to see, you know, that my MS is stable. I haven't had any relapses, so that's great. Uh, for the past two years, I've had new lesions developed, but um, no further disability from what I already have. So that's a great thing. Uh, one thing I don't think I've ever mentioned is that um, it's very common. I always get it my, my specialist always asks for me to get it uh, is when you get MRIs they give you something called gadolinium and what it is it's an injection um, that they'll call a contrast and I guess it's like a metal ion and what it does is it shows any lesions um, that could be small and hard to see but are new it'll like make them light up on your MRI report also too I think that it shows any um, like swelling or inflammation that you may have in your brain or spine that you might not see without it. So just recently I read that the FDA is saying that they are a little bit concerned with doctors using this gadolinium injection all the time on patients. They've done some research and what they found is that this injection is actually staying um, in the body for years. I guess that so when you have it so often, small amounts of it can stay in your brain and stay in your veins and so they're finding that it's staying in there years after somebody has had it so I mean like I've had it every year for three years so I could only imagine the amount that is still in my system if it's there now they're not saying okay 100% this is having a negative effect on the patient who is getting it but they're also not saying it's having no effect and they're kind of just cautioning patients and doctors to maybe not just go ahead and get this injection done every single MRI you have because it is lingering in the bodies and they're now starting to do further research to see if it's going to have a negative effect long term when it has been in your body for a year, two years, five years, you just don't know. I've actually read about people uh, who have gotten a test done uh, to see if it's still in their system and majority of the time it is and I've read about lots of people who have negative reactions from getting this injection done as well um, I've never had a negative reaction but I know when I get it the a minute that they inject it into your bloodstream you get this really cool feeling throughout your whole body and cool I mean like cold actually cold and then instant get the metal taste in your mouth um, it doesn't last long but it's there and so it really just makes me wonder like is it super important to get this injection done every single time I have an MRI I get it if you know it's an MRI maybe to diagnose you or if you had a flare or a relapse and they want to check things out but every single time you have an MRI I wonder if that's a bit excessive and it's something I've never talked to my specialist about so I feel like in the future when I do have my next MRI I should ask him do I really need to get the contrast of this gandolinium done or is it something that maybe we can hold off on um, rather than just jumping and going and getting it done right away. So once I kind of find out some more information on this, if they put out any more information, I will make sure to let everybody know. Um, if you've had a bad reaction to getting the contrast of gandolinium done, please share it in the comments below because I'm sure a lot of people kind of aren't really sure if it's something that they should be getting done and don't really know if it is bad uh, for your body. So please share your experiences with it. Um, we would all really appreciate it. So again, Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.